Well, I didn't really take much interest beforehand, if I'm honest. Mm. Um, but housing wise, I knew that the council was my best bet to be with okay. because uh, many of my other mum friends are with the council and they said, do you know what, any fault, they did, they sort it straight okay. away, they don't do a half half job, okay. if any concerns, yeah. you know, they do keep in contact and yeah. anything like that, so. Okay, so you're with Metropolitan, aren't you? I am at the moment, yeah. Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to move from Metropolitan to, a, to council property? Yeah, just because the council come mm. across as more reliable. Uh, that? Th I've been here three years and I've had, well, three and a half years, and I've had somebody to come out to re reseal my windows because oh. I was getting a breeze through it. Mm. So obviously, no point putting heat on because it was freezing down here all the time. Back door wouldn't lock. Um, my boiler was making a high pitched squealing noise since the minute I moved in, it was three and a half years, and it was only this year's annual check um, that they said, oh yeah, you've got a gas leak in your boiler. That's what that whistling noise is gas escaping. And I'm like, well, that could have been dangerous. I said, what about if it hit the flame? Yeah, we would have had a problem. I was like, would I have? I said, my daughter's bedroom's right above the boiler. I was like, if anything went wrong, and I was like, and it's been left like this for three years, thanks for that one. You know, it's lucky it hasn't been done. And then when they actually did get to do, like, they said, oh, yeah, we're going to do this and that. I've got a new boiler. Mm -hmm. Like I said, didn't put the water supply back into my mm -hmm. shower. Mm -hmm. I've just had new carpets put, up, uh, put in my bedroom, mm -hmm. and they didn't even like pull it up nicely it's like all edge of my carpet's afraid because they just want to get the work done halfway through this is oh don't worry your boiler's done now um one little problem i was really annoyed at metropolitan for this i even rang up about it i rang stacy about it Um, i came home because i had to nip out to nip, get my daughter from school mm. so i had to leave the workmen here mm. by the time i got back the workmen had gone mm. went to go for the conk lights no lights i had no electric whatsoever upstairs mm. Um, no, no, no phone call, no nothing, um, and then I rang them up, they got somebody back out and they says, oh yeah, the uh, plumber might uh, drove through a load of wires, so they've had to rewire all upstairs too. Mm. So I was like, great, thanks for that. Mm. So I had no heating and I had no electric upstairs with a four-year-old daughter. It's like, really? It's like, even, even a courtesy of, oh, this has happened while you was out, really sorry, but we'll get it sorted out, none of that. Mm. I would appreciate Amazing. it. Amazing. So what impact has, has all of this had on, on you as a person and your life here? It's just made it stress like, all mm. the time. Because all I'm doing is sat there thinking, what else could go wrong? Mm. What I do here. Mm. I'm kind of isolated here. Mm. So I only have my dad in Sutton and mm. he's about as useless as a stick, to be honest. So. Mm. <laughs> they, don't, they don't help you out whatsoever. And it's like, yeah, they might say, oh, you're an adult, you've got a house, you've got a kid, you should know what you're doing. But if I'm honest, it's like, mm. you know, I've never had to go through in any insurance companies. I've, mm. like, having stuff done to my house, it's mm. a first for me. You know, only because I'm an adult with a child doesn't mean I know exactly mm. what they're on about. Mm. You know, my back door for the first year of living here wouldn't lock. Mm. And I kept ringing up about it. So I was just like, a back door that doesn't lock, I've got a kid, you know... It's not nice. It's like, well, thanks for leaving me in this mess. Did they ever explain why they didn't fix it? Because they didn't see it as a priority. Huh. Yeah. How's well, it's just, it's just making me, well, like you said, stress. Mm. I mean, I, I struggle with anxiety anyway. Mm. So it's, when I obviously, like we said, we've got workmen in for two weeks straight, and one thing after another after another, mm. it's just, it just makes me want to go, you know what, I give up. Mm. You know, it's... It got to the point where I was worrying and mm. I started snapping right. and I couldn't, I couldn't really spend a lot of time with my daughter than what mm. I usually do because mm. I had a hundred other things to sort out. Mm. And it's just worries that I shouldn't have to, mm. I shouldn't have to be like, right, I need to ring so and so, I need to do this, I need to do that, and getting no feedback back. So, okay. yeah, pretty yeah. much. It was the first, this was the first place I bidded on when I turned 18. Um, okay. And they said, so, and I got told, it was like, mm. to be honest, if you turn a place down, mm. you know, they're not going to say, oh, you're not that desperate then. And then you get put down a notch. So, I just seen this place, I was like, you know what, it's a decent size, it looks alright, why mm -hmm. not, you know. Mm. It's better than being in a mother and baby hostel. Mm.
be just for you. Right, okay. So after we're meeting, I'll give you a buzz. It doesn't necessarily have to be straight after. Okay. I don't know how you're going to feel or anything like that. You might think, actually, I don't want to talk to John today. <laughs> I'll call him tomorrow. <laughs> or whatever's easiest for you. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah? Does that sound all right? Yeah, that sounds fine. Yeah. So in the meantime, uninstall that app or whatever you need to do. You yeah. Kids, no? I have to do that stuff. I've got no idea. <laughs> and then reinstall it or something. Okay. Yeah? yeah. See if that works. It might be something just as silly Simple as that. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll so you might mean you probably press something you don't even know you've pressed. Huh? Yeah, that sounds like me. <laughs> and then, like I say, if it doesn't work, then then go to Brook Street and see if you're doing something wrong. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. All right, no worries. No problem.